Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm finally here. I'm finally here. I know some of y'all have been waiting for a cool minute for this, but here I am. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for liking and subscribing. If you haven't done so, that is your cue to do so. Thank you in advance. Um, I am so, so, so excited to finally be here. Um, I've been waiting uh procrastinating on starting this youtube channel for a really long time now actually a couple years um it took me a while it's been something that i've wanted to do it's been on my mind and on my heart for a good amount of time now but i've always either been too nervous too self-conscious too waiting for the right time you know um to do something and i've had just come to learn especially this year that if i keep waiting for the right time i'm never gonna start I'm never going to start if I do so. And so here I am, and I know that you're wondering why I'm here, what you can expect, what I'm up to. And so I'm gonna just give a brief overview of what this channel is gonna be like, as well as do a quick um, get to know me with some questions that y'all have asked me. And so here we go. So why am I here? I am here. I am here. I am here. Why am I here? <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> I started this channel because I really have wanted a space to encourage people, to bring motivation, to give life to people. It's something that we all need it. We all need something that keeps us going. We all need a word to be spoken over us every now and then, right? Whether we believe it or not, like just think about every time where you were down and out, you were ready to be down and out throwing the towel and somebody spoke some life and just gave you energy to keep going and re-energize you. And so part of why I'm here is to, to have a space where you have a place where you can come find a word. You can come find an encouragement. You can come find something that will refresh your soul, that will re-energize your spirit, that will uplift your heart. That is why I'm here. That is what I care about. I, I believe that part of my purpose is to love, to heal, and to encourage. And I take that into every single space that I occupy. And so I'm grateful that YouTube gives me a platform where I can do that on a wide basis for people that I may not know but still need a word of encouragement and still need something to keep them going. So that's a really big part of why I chose to start this channel just because it's helped me so much in my life. So I, I, I want to pour that energy right back out to other people. Another thing, um, I love music so expect to hear uh, whether it's like covers or my personal music. Another thing is what? Oh, real talks. Having some real talks. Like I, I know there's COVID and everything so it's gonna be a little harder to like bring my friends on board or like my family but just having like real talk conversations about just different topics that people wonder about and um you know you want to hear different perspectives i'll bring those conversations here right and just um talk about whatever whatever is gonna encourage people whatever is gonna like make people think like oh i never thought about things like that like i like to have those kind of conversations what else can you expect lifestyle videos you know vlogs um if i go places there's not a lot of places where i'm going anyway just because of covid but like if i'm going places you know i'll take it with me if i think of something to review on this channel i'll review it just different like fun stuff having friend tags or family tags and things like that just that fun youtube type stuff that you know i never really saw myself doing but i'm gonna do anyway but as of right now that's what i have planned that's what i intend to uplift y'all and to just keep a smile on your face um so yeah that being said i'm gonna get to know me tag i asked on my instagram um what do y'all want to know so a couple of the last questions so i'm gonna try and get through all of them i don't know if i'll have time because i don't want to make this excessively long of a video but we're gonna try <laughs> Oh, I'll give you the basics to start with. So the basics, um, I am, <sighs> my name is Maggie Jaguna. It's not Maggie Beloved. First and foremost, um, I love God. I love God. That's something that I will not shy away from talking about on this channel. Um, Jesus is the savior of my life. <laughs> God is the foundation of my life, the reason for my existence. And I don't, I boast in that. I boast in that I would be lost without the love and the grace and the mercy that God has poured into my life. And so I do my best to pour that into others so that they recognize like there's a God that loves them and there's a God that like 
cares about every detail of their life and so that is not something that I will shy away from talking about and I hope it doesn't offend anyone but it's just the the it's the lens at which I look at my life through so I am 22 years old turning 23 in April April 30th if you want to plan I guess in advance go right ahead feel free thank you in advance <laughs> okay I'm Kenyan born but American raised and so I claim both identities okay um I moved from Kenya when I was four years old and I've lived in America and California ever since um and what else I graduated from college last year June 2020 virtually yeah <laughs> I got a bachelor's of science in managerial economics emphasis in business economics from UC Davis like, I'm really good at administration and management and leadership and so that's why I was drawn to that major at the same time though I'm really my passion is in education and in working with students and young people um, but not not in a traditional sense like I believe a lot in um, holistic well-being of it just so happens that god blessed me with a wonderful job um earlier um in, or towards the end of um 2020 so i have been blessed to be able to work in project management but in the education sector and so i work really closely with um the department of education and training communications that's the big part of what i do but i'm connected to education so it's just funny when you like claim things and you tell god and he knows your desires and he knows how he created you like he causes everything to work together i have two sisters grace and elizabeth they are uh, 16 is grace and 24 is elizabeth and i love my mom i love my dad i love my aunt and my little cousin um juju maybe i'll put my family out here too like they know they can't get away from my camera so i hope they don't think that they're not good they already know they're gonna be part of this channel so just expect to see them um but yeah i love my family they're amazing i love my friends i won't name them all but my best friends um i have one really great best friend from childhood she's amazing and i have some really amazing friends that i met um throughout my college my time in college and so love them everything's yeah they're amazing and you know my brides of christ sisters i can't name them all but they've been amazing too just a really big part of my life and a few church friends as well like uh, yeah yeah <laughs> i'll get into the questions now what inspired you to start your channel? Um, again, like I said, I have been wanting to do this for a really long time and I just feel like um, if I keep waiting, there's never gonna be a right time. And yet the purpose of why I wanna be here to uplift and to encourage people, there's, it's always the right time to do that. What was your New Year's goal? I don't have a New Year's goal. I didn't make a New Year's goal. I haven't made one for a couple of years now. Or if I have made one, it's been like really like basic and like umbrella like. Like um, what one year was like. Uh, I, my New Year's goal is to not be mediocre because I'm not no mediocre chick. Okay, I'm extraordinary, but I didn't want to do mediocre things. I felt like I wasn't doing anything exciting. I wasn't doing anything like life giving and like fulfilling and like exciting and so that was my goal to not be mediocre but really i have a lot of resolutions throughout the year and so every year it's like my new resolution is to just kind of like do the things that i hadn't done the year before and like really get a clear perspective of like okay where am i at this year and what can i do but not necessarily like making resolutions what was your experience like in kenya hmm. Um, so I moved from Kenya when I was four years old. I was born in Kenya, moved when I was four, moved to Southern California, lived there till I was 12, and then lived in Northern California ever since. Um, it's been great. I wish I remembered more of my childhood, like my first four years there, but I don't. But um, thanks to God, I've been able to go back three times ever since. So when I was, I think, seven, 13, and 18, and I more so remember 13 and 18 more. Um, and it's been really great. I think the best part for me is just being able to see my family. I, I have a lot, a lot of family. Like both my parents, both of them have seven siblings. And like my dad, he's the youngest of, of, of eight. And so, the, you know, his siblings have kids. So some of them have kids and it's just crazy. So um, I have a lot of family that I don't get to interact with as much. And so it's really nice when I do get to go back. Describe yourself in three words. <sighs> Man, uh, I was hoping I wouldn't get one of these because I never know what to say, but um, I would say I'm very... Two hours later. I'm... S Gosh. 
Um, I'm compassionate. Um, I really love and care for people and I don't always do the best job of conveying it so I'm trying to get better at that because I never want people to ever question the fact that like I do love and I do care like whether we've been through something or whether we haven't talked in forever like I really love and care for people and I, I feel like I'm a very compassionate soul. I'm empathetic. Um, it's helped me to really relate and like resonate with a lot of different people and to be able to like speak life into different situations just because i may not have experienced what you've experienced like i feel your energy i'm a leader um everywhere that i go it just kind of so happens that i end up being in a leadership position um just leading and guiding people How are you dating next <laughs> kidding um so many of y'all asked me this one um no i'm not dating i'm not currently in a relationship um i believe that dating needs to be done very intentionally and dating is an investment for marriage for marriage sake and i can't just be investing in anything so still waiting i'm still waiting on i'm still waiting on something that i can say like yes this is God's fragrance is all over this and this is who I want to marry this is who I want to do life with this is who um this is my person when are you getting married when I date <laughs> when I date and when I'm ready we're not there yet but we will get there and we'll be there soon God willing um what's your zodiac sign I'm a Taurus Taurus baby um What's your biggest pet peeve? I wouldn't say I have a biggest pet peeve. I would say one that always comes to mind when I hear this question is it's actually a grammar pet peeve. Um, not that I'm a nerd or a geek or anything like that, but the one grammar thing that gets on my nerves every single time I hear it, and my little sister knows it because every time I'm with her and someone says it, I'm looking to her like, ugh, because she knows how I feel about it. But um, my, I hate when people say things like more better or like most greatest or like most prettiest it's like huh is it more great or is it greater <laughs> is it most pretty or is it prettiest like i need you to pick one i need you to decide okay decide and run with it but it's not most prettiest people it's most pretty or it's prettiest one or the other keep it pushing okay it gets on my nerves i don't know why it just does how was your college experience we're going to talk about that in another video, so I'm not going to touch too much on that. But it was a lot of highs and lows. College was a roller coaster. It was a roller coaster. We're, we'll get into it later. What are you doing with your life right now? Um, so like I said, I work full time as a project manager in education. So that takes up most of my week. I lead a worship ministry at Haskell Church um, in Sacramento. So that takes up most of my weekends. My evenings are mostly taken up by uh, digital investing. So I'm a digital investor. I trade in the Forex market. And so, you know, if you want to make your phone at ATM, go ahead, plug in. Okay, talk to me nice. I'll get you plugged in. Um, so that takes up a lot of my evenings and a good chunk of parts of my day. And I work on music um, when I can. And I'm working on starting up a business. So that's stay tuned for that. And that's all I'm really doing with my life right now. Aside from like, you know, talking to my friends, spending some time with family when I can and just stuff like that. Um, what's your favorite ice cream? Birthday cake. Birthday cake's always my favorite. That's my go-to. How do you feel about failure? Y'all, we're gonna get into this. <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts about failure, but um, to keep it short, I think that failure is necessary. Failure is not fatal. Failure is redirection. Um, failure is really truly only failure if you don't bounce back and if you don't find your footing again. Um, yeah, that's how I feel. And have you left the country before? Yes, y'all, I came into this country. You know, I already left. I've gone to Kenya and I've gone to uh, the Bahamas and I've gone to Jamaica and yeah. 
um what are you watching on tv right now because i don't watch a lot of like tv to be honest like um one of my best friends jocelyn that's probably who i watch the most tv with and we haven't watched a show in a couple weeks now so the last one we watched i forgot what it was called but we watched the whole how to get with murder um we watched little fires everywhere that one was really good and then i forgot the name of the last one that we watched but that's my tv buddy that's my best friend but um yeah besides that i watch a lot of movies on netflix and that's pretty much it other than that i watch sermons and i listen to podcasts so that's it that's all i really have time for today there's a few more but i'll probably just do a part two um so that y'all can really get to know me a little bit more but throughout my channel like you'll definitely get to know me my perspectives and i hope to hear a lot from y'all i hope that you engage with me on social media um just because like i don't want i'm not doing this for me like i'm doing it for y'all and so i really want to know like what you need and like how you're responding to all of this so please be active with me and um hopefully you know hopefully you have already subscribed and hopefully you go share this with your people and let somebody be encouraged and uplifted through this channel and yeah um thanks for watching and